Hey everybody, welcome to the Smarter Mail channel. My name is Stuart and today I'm gonna to be talking about my seven favorite YouTube channels for small businesses, for e-commerce enthusiasts, for marketers. If you're any of these, these are the channels that you need to subscribe to. Also, I'm refilming the intro, so I apologize for the completely different outfit and the completely different lighting setup. Anyway, without further ado, here's my first favorite. And by the way, at the very end is my favorite YouTube channel, so stick around to the very end. Anyway, here it is. This is a weird intro. Let me start off with Neil Patel. People believe marketing is expensive and difficult. Fortunately, that's not true. This is the channel that got me thinking about search engine optimization in a different sort of way. Neil's got a really unique perspective on this. It's about what words you wanna be chasing down. Not all words are equal. For example, you wanna be chasing down words that really hone in on your target audience. Neil's a really smart guy uh, and he's a great speaker. Who is this channel for? I think it's more for marketers than uh, small businesses. But if you're interested in marketing, Neil's got heaps of great advice and I definitely recommend checking out his channel. Oberlo, Oberlo? I don't know how to say this name. So they aren't buying based on some life-changing needs, but it's all based on emotions. Even if you're selling nifty gadgets, or anything like that, you really want to evoke that emotional response because it's an impulse-based purchase. The hosts are really easy to watch. They really know what they're talking about. Their content is a bit more long form. They've got kind of 20 minute, 30 minute, almost like podcasts that you can just kind of whack on and listen to. No matter what episode you watch, you're gonna come out with heaps of really interesting ideas that you can use to improve your store. Even though this channel is made specifically for drop shippers, I kind of do think any small business owner can get something out of these videos. It's very broad and they have a really clear idea on what works for an online store. So definitely check these guys out, especially if you're a dropshipper. Next up is learn with Shopify. First impressions can make or break your business, especially when it comes to e-commerce. The layout of your website, the colors you use, and what you decide to share about yourself as a business are all elements that impact a first impression. Now, these guys make great content for beginners. I really like the hosts. I think the hosts seem super genuine and you can kind of tell that they've put a lot of work into the script to be just as succinct and as information dense as possible. Again, they're kind of longer. They go for about 20 minutes. Just soak it all in. By the end of the video, you'll know Kung Fu. I know Kung Fu. Now, who is this for? This is for beginners who have a Shopify store and are looking to market their business. Curious Themes. Now, this is a smaller channel, um, one that I found researching my own video ideas. I think her name is Elle and she makes really niche videos on super specific details within Shopify. So in this video, we are going to go over the different taxes for small businesses and how to make sure that you are staying within the law for all of that and paying on time. I just watched a video recently about how to set up different payments for a Shopify store and nobody else is really doing this. Nobody else is really going like in depth into how to use Shopify from a marketing perspective. A lot of those tutorial type people kind of just show you how to do it and don't explain why. Elle just kind of tells you why you should be doing this and what benefit it has. If you don't own a Shopify store or if you're not interested in Shopify, I don't know how much you're gonna get out of her videos, but she's still got a lot of information. If you're interested in marketing, check her out. Creative Hive. Trade shows are super expensive to do. You have to pay for money on booth rental, show services like Wi-Fi and electricity, the design and construction of your booth, the shipping of your booth to the location and travel and lodging for yourself to each show. So May is the owner of this channel and she talks a lot about the stress and difficulty, like the real world hardships of owning a business. And I don't see that anywhere else, um, at least not in the way that she does it. She talks about her own experience and it's very personal. She talks about how she overcame it and it's very practical advice. She talks a lot about how you need to split your attention and be smart with your time and how to not let things get too much. Um, it's all really practical advice. She seems like a really supportive person 
and it really does seem like she wants to help her audience A, make a business, B, grow their business, and C, just not let them get burnt out from the business. It's definitely for handmade business owners, but I do think if you're a business owner, period, you can get some wisdom out of this, especially when she talks about a lot of the stress that she's been through. That's gonna be pretty helpful, but if you're a dropshipper, I don't know how much you're gonna get out of this channel, but May, ah, I love your work. Now, the last channel that I love is HubSpot. What's up? I'm Jamal from HubSpot. In this video, I'm gonna teach you the basics of email marketing, setting you up with a foundation for success that can last for years. If you find this useful, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the HubSpot YouTube channel. I just think this is a really Fun, slick production. Jamil has... Okay, his name is not Jamil, it's Jamal. So that was uh, just a bit of a mistake. Two cameras, and it's really sick, and it makes for a really engaging video. Anyway, he uses graphics, um, super slick graphics, really nice music, he changes it up, he keeps it entertaining. Phew, probably, probably the best presentation in the game. Who's HubSpot for? It's probably more for marketers. Definitely subscribe to HubSpot just because the content is so easy to watch. Great content. And the last channel I want to recommend is uh, is uh, is this one. Uh, we talk about marketing and you know all that kind of stuff too. We're we're down with it. We help small businesses. Uh, I do. There's no we, it's just me. Uh, I'm part of a bigger company, but I'm the one that makes the videos. Nobody else makes the videos. Sorry if I'm acting crazy. I'm not pitching myself very well. Anyway, let me know in the comments if there's any e-commerce YouTubers that you really like. I would love to support some more smaller YouTube channels and maybe collaborate down the road. Again, like the video if you liked it, and thanks for watching. Happy sending.